Hello lovely human beings, we have reached 900 subs. Thank you so much for all the support, this is already an early Christmas gift for me. This episode probably took the longest to edit so I hope you enjoy this. Disclaimer, I do not own any characters from the Haikyuu anime series and the incidents in this video are purely a figment of my imagination. Haikyuu Text Stories, Tsukishima XYN, Episode 10 Dinner at the Cafeteria As your teammates chat about their plans for the last day of training camp tomorrow, you absent-mindedly twirl your fork over your salad, your mind wandering about. Every now and then, you couldn't help but glance at Tsukishima's table where he was also listening to his teammates talking. Your eyes would meet and you pretend to look at another direction. You don't know what's wrong with you but your eyes seem to be magnetically attracted to Tsukishima. Earth to YN. Yes. Sorry, you were saying something? The coaches are allowing us to go out for a bit tomorrow after barbecue. The girls are planning to check out some nearby stores, would you like to come with us? Um, I already have plans for tomorrow. Oh. Oh, flushing cheeks. You shyly look down on your plate. So where are you two going? I don't know, he just asked me earlier if it was alright if I would go somewhere with him tomorrow. I hope it's not at the vending machine again. You couldn't help but chuckle at that thought. Hmm, I think I don't mind. Mind what? Where he'd take me? You smile to yourself. A lot of stuff happened for this training camp and my mind's been full of him. Earlier I didn't even hesitate when he asked me to go out tomorrow and that made me realize now how easy he can make me say yes in a heartbeat. Wow, you got it bad, face covering mouth. Well, it was bound to happen sooner or later though. Hmm, what do you mean? You always had eyes on Tsukishima, maybe not in a romantic way, but you were always on him. He's a rival, I had to be on a lookout. There's that but do you know you have this habit of randomly worrying for other people? Have you been talking to Tsukishima? Face with rolling eyes. I could swear he said the same thing to me. You do, but you subconsciously worry about him more than you do with others. I don't. Face with rolling eyes. Remember that time in middle school when Tsukishima had a fight with his older brother? You told me you forgot your ID so you had to go back to the classroom but in truth you just wanted to check up on him. Well, yes, but I really did forget about my ID so it was hitting two birds with one stone, smiling face with sweat. See, you've always had your eyes on him but it's only now that you're really seeing him, bestie. That is just so deep, laughing face. You playfully throw a leaf of your salad at your best friend, trying to lighten up the mood. Not as deep as the feelings of the guy who's coming over now. Your head whips towards Tsukishima and true enough he was casually headed to your table. He sits on the empty chair beside you and places two plates of watermelon cuts on the table. He pushes one plate towards you. You feel a blush creep on your cheeks as you feel several eyes both discreetly and not discreetly looking at the two of you. Oi Tsukishima, people are looking at us, let them look. I already publicly confess to you, I don't need to hold back anymore. You feel your whole face warm up in a blush. It looks like it's going to be a regular occurrence whenever this guy was involved. What are you even doing here anyways? Go back to your table. You kept on looking at me like you were saying Tsukishima, Tsukishima, come here. Expressionless face. Seriously. <laughs> Go on and eat. You haven't had dessert yet. You sigh and grab a piece of watermelon. Tsukishima places his arm on the table resting his head over his palm and looks at you while eating. You try and ignore him as you eat but his gaze doesn't waver and your crazy heart was starting to act up again with all the looking. I am seriously going to shoot you with watermelon seeds if you don't stop looking at me. Shoot me. I am a free citizen of this country and I have the freedom to look at anyone I want to. Expressionless face. Can you at least be a little bit discreet? People are looking at us. They know how I feel why should I hide it anymore? You're hopeless, face with rolling eyes. Tsukishima smirks. I'm enjoying this. I didn't know you were someone who wanted to be the center of everyone's attention, expressionless face. No, this. Looking at you without worrying that other people will notice. Getting close to you without trying to come up with an excuse as to why I want to be near. 
you grab a piece of watermelon and pop it on Tsukishima's mouth so he would stop talking. He really needed to shut up because your heart was going on a frenzy again. You grab another watermelon and was about to take a bite when you noticed Tsukishima opening his mouth. What? Feed me again. Expressionless face. I will smack you. <laughs> Cute. Before you can react, Tsukishima moves and takes a bite of the watermelon you were holding. Surprised and flushed cheeks. Didn't know watermelons could taste that good. Smiling cheeky face. You look at him in disbelief, words failing you. Yes, just forget we're still here. This is painful for single people, my eyes hurt. We'll head off first, smiling face with sweat. Don't stay out too late. We're not. Your best friend, Aoki and Rinko stand up together while carrying their empty food trays. You gape at them as they leave, your best friend mouthing fighting before disappearing out of the cafeteria. You give Tsukishima a nasty glare. That was your fault, flushed angry face. Tom. You're so annoying. You're cute. Face with rolling eyes. Tsukishima chuckles and continues to eat his remaining watermelon cuts. You focus on eating your remaining cuts too, trying your best to hide your embarrassment as you feel his lingering gaze on you. It makes you conscious of how you're chewing, if you're opening your mouth too much or not, or if there was watermelon juice on your face because he just kept on looking at you. I'm done. Do you want more? I'll get more if you want. Tsukishima hands you a few sheets of tissue paper. Thanks. It's okay I'm full. And you don't know if you can eat any more with him constantly looking at you. As the both of you stand, Tsukishima casually takes your food tray from you and places it on top of his own. You follow after him as he puts it on the dish cart. Are you heading back to the girls room now? Yeah, the girls are probably waiting for me too. I'll walk you to your room, I'm okay. How could you say no when he looked very eager? Though you didn't want to admit, you also want to stay with him a bit longer. The two of you walk in silence, side by side. Surprisingly, you don't encounter anyone along the way, allowing you to a few moments of privacy. It was actually nice. Although it made you feel more aware of Tsukishima, it was nice being away from other people's prying eyes and have this moment where it was just the two of you. It felt like you two were in your own little bubble. You could feel his arms brush with yours from time to time. You take a peek at his hand, blushing a bit, realizing that you want to hold it. You secretly take a peek at him and blush a little more when you notice him taking glances at your hand too. You couldn't help but feel a bit of disappointment when you see the girl's room drawing near. We're here, go in, I'll leave after you do. You couldn't help but smile at that. Okay good night, good night. You hesitate, wanting to stay a bit more, before finally turning and opening the door to the room. Before you go inside, you glance back at Tsukishima and give him a warm smile. He smiles warmly back at you. Once inside, you rest your head on the closed door, just listening to your heart thumping. A smiling Tsukishima was lethal to your heart. That night, you sigh as you stare at the ceiling. You've been trying to sleep for the last few minutes but failing. Usually, lo-fi songs does magic to you and make you doze off almost immediately. Your phone pings indicating a text message. Are you still awake? You frown. Sometimes you feel like Tsukishima has a mental telepathy on you. Yes. I can't sleep. Cute anime lo-fi songs not working? Laughing face. Face with rolling eyes. I can't sleep too. My mind's too preoccupied. About tomorrow? About you. Your eyes widen and you feel yourself blushing. Jeez, this Tsukishima. Go to sleep. Expressionless face. I want the morning to come already so I can see you again. Okay, okay, now go to sleep or I will smack you. You wouldn't even be able to hurt a fly even if you wanted to, laughing face. I can, flushed angry face. You can't. When we were in middle school you accidentally hit one of your teammates with a volleyball, you were so guilty you cried so much. Wow, you remember that? It was funny because the one you hit ended up consoling you instead of the other way around, laughing face. Somehow the story makes your heart beat a little bit faster than usual. You almost don't remember that incident from before and Tsukishima recalled it like it happened yesterday. You couldn't help yourself and you ask. Have you liked me since then? 
a few minutes pass before you get a reply and you suddenly feel embarrassed with your question, you don't have to tell me, smiling face with sweat, let's go to sleep now, yes, you feel the heat rush to your face, I don't remember when it was exactly, but since middle school, it's always been you. Okay, that was enough Tsukishima heart attacks you can handle for a day. Okay shush now, let's sleep. I don't even know what you see in me. Are you fishing for compliments? Smirking face. Expressionless face. Go to sleep or I will block you. Alright, I'll sleep now. Laughing face. You go to sleep too. Okay good night. Good night. Tokyo Training Camp, Day 5. You wake up feeling a bit nervous and excited at the same time. The day passes by in a blur. The eventful training camp wraps up with some pep talks coming from the coaches from the different schools. Early afternoon, all of the teams gather round outside the gym to share some barbecue. You all enjoy the food and drinks together. Some time later your best friend grabs your arm, her face lighting up with a huge grin. It's time. Huh, for what? Aoki grabs your other arm, to prep for your date. You seriously aren't going to meet Tsuki Shima in a pair of sports shirt and shorts, are you? I was going to change of course. Um but technically into a new shirt and shorts, smiling face with sweat. I knew it, face with rolling eyes. I only brought shirts, shorts, leggings, and jogging pants. Who'd bring a dress to a training camp? Me, I told you I brought a lot. What? Surprised face. I asked her to bring some since you two are about the same size. And before you ask, I just wanted you to be prepared in case the situation calls for it. What on earth, what were you going to do if Tsuki Shima didn't ask me out? I was confident he was. If not, we had at least a couple of plans on how to make him, smiling face with blushing cheeks. Anyways, let's go, we still have some preparing to do. I really don't think we have to. You aren't saying no. I didn't bring those clothes for nothing. Plus we're planning to blindside Tsuki Shima, face with hand covering mouth. You hopelessly tag along as the two girls happily drag you back into the girls room. Um, are you guys sure this isn't too much? It's perfect. Just in time too, Tsukishima's already waiting outside. A wave of nervousness suddenly rushes in you. You take in a deep breath. Okay I got this. Whoa, have fun. After another deep breath you open the door and step outside. You see Tsuki Shima casually leaning on the wall just across the room. He straightens up as he sees you, his eyes widening a bit. Um, hi. Too mesmerized to speak. Your face heats up as he continues to stare at you in open surprise. Tsuki Shima. Nice dress. Thanks, Aoki-chan made me borrow it. Let's go. You nod and follow silently behind Tsuki Shima. Where are we going though? Just somewhere here in the campus. Oh, we're not going out? Tsuki Shima raises his hand to massage the back of his nape, you notice that habit of his whenever he was nervous. I was thinking we'd be able to spend more time together if we didn't go somewhere far. And I thought it would be more private since most of the people are gonna go out to shop and visit nearby places. Oh, you feel your heart race and you wonder if you'd be able to survive this first date. You haven't even gotten to the place yet and Tsuki Shima is already making your heart crazy. You walk for a bit and after a few minutes, you reach a bend. Tsuki Shima stops and turns towards you. You could see a hint of nervousness on his face. It's going to be a surprise from here so you have to close your eyes. Um, okay. You close your eyes. No peeking, don't open your eyes until I say so. Okay. Tsuki Shima takes your hands and guides you forward. You notice how his hands are cold again which makes you chuckle. Tsuki Shima, your hands feel like ice. I'm not sure you're going to like it. You're worried about that. Don't worry, this is my first date so my standards are low. Ow, oi. Tsuki Shima lightly flicks your forehead. After a few moments of walking, Tsuki Shima finally stops. You hear him take a deep intake of breath. Okay, open your eyes. You open your eyes. Your breath hitches in your throat at the sight before you.
You prepared all this? Amazed face. I got some help from a few people. Wow, I didn't know Nekoma had a beautiful place like this. Do you like it? I love it, the flowers are so beautiful. You said flowers and chocolates would be nice. You turned to Tsukishima in surprise. Did he hear your conversation with Rinko before? Tsukishima takes your hands and helps you squat on the white picnic mat. Tsukishima squats across you. All sorts of snacks were there on a basket but you notice a separate basket full of chocolates. You couldn't help but give out a low chuckle when you notice they were mostly chocolate bars. Did you get all these from the vending machine? It was the closest thing I could get snacks from. I'm sorry it isn't much, I'm bad at stuff like this, if we weren't at a training camp, I would have brought you somewhere fancier and prepared actual food you'd like. I don't have a gift too but I can get you one when we get back. You feel your chest tighten as you look at Tsukishima mumbling nervously. Your gaze drops to the snacks and drinks he prepared, the candles, and the wonderful canopy of flowers above you too. You pick up a pocky from the basket of snacks, it was strawberry flavored and a dawn of realization hits you. Tsukishima, yes, were you the one who gave me the strawberry keychain before? Seeing the surprise in Tsukishima's face, you knew the answer before he even said it. Yes. You feel your chest swell with emotions and your eyes well up with tears. Panic registers on Tsukishima's face when he notices the tears on your eyes. Oi. Ah, I really underestimated you, you really are a sneaky bastard. I don't know if I'm being insulted or complimented. You couldn't help but laugh as you allow the tears to flow. You didn't realize until now but Tsukishima had always looked out for you. Ah, I give up puzzled. I was going to patiently wait until you get to formally confess again before I give you my reply. Just so you know, even if you give me a negative reply right now, I'm not going to give up. If you aren't impressed by this, I can do better once we get back to Mayakia. You couldn't help yourself anymore and you leap from your seat and fling your arms around Tsukishima. He stops in surprise and catches you in his arms. Tsukishima K, stop rambling, I like you too. You feel Tsukishima stiffen, you sure? You couldn't help but laugh. I like you, I like you, I like you. You are probably the most annoying man in the planet but you're also the sweetest there is. You feel Tsukishima finally relax and his arms tighten around you. You move to look at his face but he places his chin on top of your head to stop you. Give me a few minutes. I'm too happy my face is probably too weird right now. You chuckle and bury your face contentedly on his chest. I like you, not half as much as I like you. Outside of the gym where the bus is parked. Tsukishima and you arrive at the bus meeting area where several people were already gathered saying their goodbyes with each other. You turn beat red from embarrassment when the boys and girls team spot the two of you, eyes traveling from your bag which was being carried by Tsukishima, down to his hand which was holding your hand tightly. They suddenly erupt in cheers and you cover yourself up in embarrassment. So I gathered it went okay? Yes, flushing cheeks. Several of the boys gather around Tsukishima, teasing and smacking him. Afterwards you board the bus, ready to leave. You and Tsukishima take the same seat you had before. Oh, can you send me the pics from earlier? You used Tsukishima's phone earlier to take pictures of the picnic area because you forgot your phone in your room. Here. Tsukishima hands his phone to you and you open up the gallery and check the pictures. You continue swiping until a picture makes you stop. You feel warmth spread on your chest, you gaze up at Tsukishima with a smile. He smiles back at you, unknowing. You chuckle and rest your head on his shoulder. It was a training camp you'll never forget. Tune in for the next episode, memes and an extra scene after the end credits. If you enjoyed this video please like, subscribe or let me know on the comments.
おやおやおやおやおやおや There's something I'd like to ask you, may I? Sure, thank you very much. I was wondering if there was a nearby place here with lots of flowers. Oh, there's actually one here in the campus. It's being maintained by the Botany Club. If you don't mind us asking, is this for that girl you confessed to? Bokuto's face visibly stiffens. Yeah, I did a very lousy confession and I wanted to make it up to her. She'll love the garden, you can have a picnic there. It's also in a secluded part in the campus so you'll have privacy. We'll help. Just tell us what you need. Bokuto seemed very eager so Tsuki Shima nodded in agreement. At the Fukuridani bus. Who? Who did it? What's wrong Yuki-chan? Yuki angrily raises up the team's banner which was covered in dirt. I left our banner in a pretty clean and decent condition, flushed angry face. Whoever it is, You better come forward or I will make you do the team's uniform laundry for a whole month. It wasn't me, not me, not me, not me, not me, not me, Bokuto-san. You hesitated for three seconds. Neutral face, it was him. Oh,